In this video, I will be discussing the different display modes that are available in Mobile Sheets, how to switch between them, and the settings that control their behavior. Understanding the differences between the display modes is very important as the display mode determines how pages are displayed in relation to each other and how page turns are handled, which can have a large impact on how Mobile Sheets is used. To begin, load a song Bring up the song overlay by tapping on the center of the screen and then tap on the display mode icon at the bottom of the overlay. A dialog will be displayed with a drop down that changes the currently selected display mode as well as settings specific to that mode. If you tap on the default display mode drop down, you will see a list of all of the currently supported display modes. The first mode we will discuss is the single page display mode. In this mode, only a single page is displayed at a time, and page turns will scroll the pages horizontally. With the default settings, if pages are zoomed using a pinch gesture, Mobile Sheets will save the page's position and scaling so that the page will appear the same each time it is viewed. If the tablet is rotated into landscape orientation, the page will be enlarged and split into two halves. Vertical scrolling is required to see the second half of each page. This behavior can be enabled or disabled by toggling the display half page and landscape orientation setting on the display mode dialog. If the half page turns and landscape orientation setting is enabled, this eliminates the need to manually scroll as the first page turn on each page will scroll to the second half of that page. A second page turn is then required to switch to the next page. A new icon can also be seen at the bottom of the song overlay while half page turns are enabled. When this icon is tapped, Mobile Sheets enters a mode where each half of the page can be positioned independently. This helps alleviate situations where half page turns will split pages in an undesirable way. After tapping the icon, Mobile Sheets will wait for the user to position the first half of the page by scrolling it up or down with their finger as needed. When the user lifts their finger, Mobile Sheets records the position of the page and then scrolls to the second half of the page. Once the second half of the page is positioned in the same manner, Mobile Sheets saves the selection and exits the half page positioning mode. The user can then proceed with adjusting the half page positions of the other pages if needed. The next display mode we will discuss is the two page display mode. In this mode, two pages are displayed side by side on the screen, which works best in landscape orientation. By default, a single page will be turned at a time, which moves the right side page over to the left. To change this behavior, tap the page turn icon at the bottom of the song overlay. Three different page turn modes are supported, single page, two pages, and alternate pages. As the name implies, the two page turn mode will turn two pages at a time, which is similar to turning the pages of an actual book. The alternate pages mode will change one page at a time, alternating between changing the left and right pages. The benefit of this mode is that pages can be turned ahead of time at convenient points in the performance. For example, while viewing the first two pages of a score, if a page turn occurs while the user is viewing the second page, the first page will be replaced by the third page. The page turn will not move the page being viewed, minimizing the distraction caused by the page turn. When viewing a set list with the two-page display mode, Mobile Sheets can potentially display pages from different songs at the same time, which may be undesirable. In the Display Mode dialog, the Separate Songs in Two Page Mode setting changes this behavior and ensures that only one song is visible at a time. If a song has an odd number of pages, the last page will be displayed by itself. Next, we will be discussing the Half Page Display Mode. In this mode, a single page is displayed, but when a page turn occurs, Mobile Sheets will change only half of a page at a time. This means that the first page turn will display the top half of page two while displaying the bottom half of page one. The next page turn then displays the rest of the second page. This behavior is useful as page turns can occur ahead of time without any impact to the part of the page currently being viewed. 
There isn't currently a way to adjust the half page turn position, but an update will be adding this capability in the near future. The last display mode is the vertical scrolling display mode. In this mode, pages are stacked vertically in a continuous fashion. One of the benefits of this behavior is that pages that are heavily cropped will all be stacked and visible at the same time, eliminating any wasted space. Additionally, in landscape orientation with fit width page scaling, the available screen space can be fully utilized. This display mode works particularly well with the various scrolling features in mobile sheets, including automatic scrolling and pedal scroll actions. When page turns occur in the vertical scrolling display mode, mobile sheets will scroll to the top of the next page if it is one screen away or less, otherwise 30% of the screen will be scrolled instead. This ensures that in landscape orientation, no parts of the page will be skipped when turning pages. In the display mode dialog, an option is also available to use half page turns. This can be useful as page turns can occur at more convenient times and users can view and prepare for upcoming sections in their song. While most users will only need to use a single display mode for all songs in their library, it is possible to override the default display mode for individual songs. This can be done by unchecking the Use Default Display Mode for Song checkbox and selecting a different display mode from the drop-down that is displayed. It is also possible to apply the selected display mode to other songs in the same set list or to the entire library. On the display mode dialog, several global settings are available that can impact how pages are displayed. The Allow Zoom Out Pass 100% setting allows pages to be shrunk smaller than the screen's edges. This is not normally needed or desired, but can be useful for heavily cropped pages that may be enlarged too much by default. The Repeat Mode setting determines if mobile sheets will wrap from the last page of a song or set list back to the first when turning past the last page. The Page Color Tone setting changes the background tint of pages in mobile sheets. Three color selections are supported, Sepia, Gray, and Cool. This setting can be useful to reduce glare or to soften the coloring of pages. The last setting we will discuss is the Page Alignment setting. Three different alignments are supported, Top, Center, and Bottom. The alignment determines which edge of the screen pages will be aligned with or if pages will be centered on the screen. While there are many settings in mobile sheets, few are as important or impactful as the display mode. It is worthwhile to spend time adjusting the settings to find the best combination of options to match your needs and get the most out of mobile sheets. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets, as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.